The electric vehicle market boom of 2020 is in full swing. Everyone from Tesla to Xpeng, even Neo and Li Auto, everyone is exploding. But will Neo and Xpeng Motors be able to take on Tesla in their home country of China? Tesla already has a huge head start in China, but in this video, I'm going to show you why Neo cars and Xpeng Motors are going to be able to take on Tesla within China. Before we get started, go down below in the description and use my referral link for Webull. It's a brokerage account and when you sign up using the link below, you'll get four free stocks, each of them valued up to $1,600. I use Webull to trade all of my electric vehicle stocks and it's a great platform so I recommend getting it. So I'm sure all of you know this by now, but Neo Cars in China beat all of the forecasts regarding their quarter three earnings. This sent Neo stock skyrocketing the past couple weeks. Along with Neo Cars, Xpeng Motors also had a great earnings call, despite some analysts saying that they wouldn't. After the news that Tesla would be introduced into the S&P 500, the pressure was on for the Chinese stocks Neo and Xpeng to perform. Neo boosted third quarter sales by almost 150%. Their sales were around $630 million. Now that's just a bit over 12,000 vehicles, and that's where Tesla was about four years ago. So does this mean that Neo is behind schedule, or was it just that Tesla got a really far head start? Personally, I believe that Tesla just got such a large head start that all of these other electric vehicle companies like Neo and Xpeng are having to catch up now. But as far as numbers go, Neo and Xpeng are still performing very well. Now both Xpeng and Li Auto also revealed their third quarter earnings and there were some mixed results in there. Some analysts said eh, it could be better, while some said there's a real upside to those two companies. Now to add to all of this Tesla versus Neo versus Xpeng Motors, there's some US policy that could really impact this. China's electric vehicle market may grow even faster if newly elected President Joe Biden of the United States decides not to bring back some incentives for Americans to get electric vehicles. It's estimated by late 2022, 40% of all of Tesla's sales worldwide will be from the Chinese market. Now, China is currently very, very EV friendly because of subsidies they give. They really want their citizens to move to electric away from gas because of the environment. Now, the current United States laws basically say that once you sell a certain amount of electric vehicles, that tax subsidy goes away for the consumers. Hopefully, we'll see in the next few years that there will be a lot more incentive for Americans to buy these electric vehicles. I think if that becomes the case, you'll see Chinese companies as well, like Neo and Xpeng, come to the US to sell. Even US automaker GM General Motors has said that they're really upping their electric vehicle program. GM is investing $27 million through 2025 for autonomous and electric vehicles. So again, the trend in the US for EVs is going up, but I think China is already hitting that exponential curve and growing rapidly. Now, with that being said, only 4.5% of vehicles in China are 100% electric, and that number is expected to climb to around 10% in 2027. Now, a lot of investors look at Li Auto, Neo, and Xpeng, and they say these companies are very, very innovative, just like Tesla. The one huge upside that these Chinese electric vehicle companies have is the manufacturing in China. We even saw Tesla this year start producing Tesla Model 3s in their Shanghai factory. And there's even word that they might start producing their Model Ys there as well. Now, one concern I do wanna bring up with the likes of Neo, Xpeng, and even Li Auto is that they are all Chinese companies and they all have been accused of trying to steal intellectual property from other tech companies such as Tesla and Google. Chinese companies are known for stealing this intellectual property and then using it in their products. So a lot of people think that Neo and Xpeng aren't really that legit because they're just stealing ideas from other companies. Now with that all being said, Neo stock and Xpeng stock are continuing to rise. Bank of America, Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan, all of them are raising price targets on Neo stock and Xpeng stock. 
Bank of America is even saying that they expect NEO to be profitable by 2023. For those of you that don't know, a lot of these electric vehicle companies are not profitable right now, and it even took Tesla a while to make some money. Now, Xpeng with its two production cars, the P7 and the G3, they had some pretty good numbers too, as far as quarter three earnings were concerned. Their sales rose 166%. Gross margins were positive, but they lost almost 170 million in the quarter. Now, one good thing for all of you investors out there invested in NEO stock, XPeng stock, and even Tesla stock, is that everyone is saying that the Chinese EV market is just going to boom. It isn't full by any stretch of the imagination, and you'll see all the automakers in the world trying to dominate that Chinese electric vehicle market. Now to wrap this up, I wanted to talk about NEO, XPeng, Li, and Tesla. Do you buy the stock now, or do you wait for there to be a dip to buy in? Personally, if you believe in these companies, I think you should invest now. But be ready to hold on to these positions for at least a little while. Because while in the coming months they might dip a little bit, I do think long term, maybe two to three plus years, all of these stocks will go up tenfold. Again, remember to get your four free stocks with Webull down below in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.